where Bree just was. You could see the white caps on the water. The water level yeah. did look a bit higher. Uh, how much longer is it going to be coming down in Port Charlotte? I would assume for quite some time. Yeah, we've still got several hours of the rain and the wind left. The advisory, the latest one in the intermediate advisory here at 7 o'clock. And you can see the winds now at 60. So downgraded to a tropical storm once it made landfall to 70. Lost another 10 miles per hour, but it doesn't impact the gusty tropical storm force winds and rain we're seeing. As it continues to, to progress across the state, once it starts to lift northbound is when we'll see things improve. But you can see how large this uh, tropical storm continues to be as it works its way inland. Most of the widespread rain is to the north, and that's where we've actually got a tornado watch box here uh, for parts of Daytona Beach north through Brunswick, Georgia. And you can see the southern part of those rain bands wrapping around between Tampa and Fort Myers. I want to walk you through the wind field to give you kind of an idea of the timing. And right now we're sitting here at 7 o'clock. And as the storm moves northbound by noon today, we'll start to see that rain really start to pull out. We'll see uh, parts of Hardy County, Highlands, the areas around Bradenton and Tampa still picking up some wet weather. But by this evening, what we're going to see is that tropical storm force wind core start to shrink and move north. And we'll still see some of that tailing rain off to the south, but it won't be any Anything like what we have seen overnight and well before sunrise here this morning and a couple of those showers could linger for your Veterans Day forecast tomorrow, but we're only looking at about a 20% chance. So as we round out the bottom of the hour here, Lauren Petrelli and I are going to continue to look at the latest information coming in with that new advisor. We'll have a check of the radar coming up for you in just a bit.